Hello all, welcome to our channel. Today's topic is Certainty Equivalent Approach. In Certainty Equivalent Approach, we will be looking after a problem and what is the concept of this equivalent approach. Certainty Equivalent Approach is an approach which will help us to identify the better purpose for investment. This is one of the techniques which will come under risk analysis and capital budgeting. Then what is certainty equivalent? The term itself says it is certainty equivalent. Then how it has to be done? We will be having a cash flows and we also have something called as coefficient values. Then why coefficient values will be present is very simple. Whenever we get a cash flow, we doesn't know whether it is an actual cash flow. So we always feel it is an uncertainty. This uncertain values has to be converted into uncertain values through the help of coefficient values. In certainty equivalent approach, wherever we get a cash flow, that would be considered as an uncertain cash flow. Later, we will take a help of coefficient values to convert that uncertain cash flow into a certain cash flow. So this is what we call it as an certainty equivalent coefficient. Then what is that one more uh, help in something called return? Here there is something called guaranteed return because this will take a uh, better chance of a good return instead of an uncertain return because the rule itself said now by using coefficient values we have converted the uncertain into certainty as we have already converted into certainty. So here we can at least look for a guaranteed return in the projects whichever we are taking for. When coming to the decision rule, whichever is positive, that is when we go for two different kind of investments or whenever we go for two different kind of projects, whichever project is positive, whichever project is more than one. So that would be considered for selection of a particular project. So this is what the theory of certainty equivalent approach in brief says. So now we will look into the problem and understand much about certainty equivalent approach. How this certainty equivalent approach will help us. Two projects X and Y each are costing an investment of rupees 50,000. What is this rupees 50,000? It is an initial investment or an original investment which is given in the problem. The expected cash inflows and the certainty coefficient are as under. The risk-free cutoff rate is 10%, suggest the prof project to be preferred. So we have been given with the information of 3 years. There are totally two projects, one is project X and as well as project Y. So as we looked in the theory, the theory said the uncertain cash flows has to be converted in, into uncertain cash flows through, through, what is that through? It is something through coefficient values. So here they have been given with cash flows. We are also being given with coefficient values. So let us look for a solution. In this particular solution of case one, case one says calculation of net present value using certainty equivalent approach for project X. So totally we had two projects. So we are calculating for project X. So first we have to take down the years. Then we have to write down the cash flows. Then we have to write coefficient, which is given in the question. So why we are doing all this is to identify the certain cash flows through the uncertain one or through something called as coefficient. We are trying to convert the cash flow into the new cash flow. How we are doing? So we have 30,000 into 0 0.8 will give us 24,000. 40,000 into 0 0.7 will give us 28,000. 45,000 into 0 0.9 will give us 40,500. So these are the new cash flows which we have found. Later in the question they had given that there is a discount factor of 10%. So in the previous sums we had identified how we have to do. How to find out the discount factor you have a formula 1 divided by 1 plus r to the power of n. It is 10% 1 divided by 1 plus 10%. So which will be equal to 1 divided by 1.1 to the power of 1 for the first year. So in the same way, 1 divided by 1.1 to the power of 2 to the second year. So 1 divided by 1.1 to the power of 3 for the third year. 
so the answer goes with 0 0.909 0 0.826 0 0.751 now we have to identify the present value of cash flows multiply multiply the new cash flow into discount factor will get us present value of cash flows so what is that we have to do is we have to multiply the new cash flow into discount factor will get us present value of cash flows so that is 24000 into 0 0.909 28000 into 0 0.826 40500 into 0 0.751 will get these values add all the three we will get total present value that is 75360 we had original investment or initial investment which was 50000 rupees which has to be subtracted so once after subtraction we got the value that is net present value which is 25360 rupees so let us check for case 2 and based on that we will come for an interpretation case 2 case 2 said we have to identify once again npv with something called project y already we know year cash flow coefficient which would be taken here so now we have to identify the new cash flow how to do that sir 20000 into 0 0.9 25000 into 0 0.8 20000 into 0 0.7 why we are doing this to identify something called as the certain cash flows through the help of coefficient values then discount factor as just now we have explained according to the case one it is 10 percent directly we can take the values present value of cash flows multiply this new cash flow into discount factor will get us present value of cash flows for all the three years now add the cash flow for all the three years then you will get a total the total is 43,396 we have a original investment or initial investment which has to be subtracted from total present value once we subtract we will get a net present value so here in the case 2 the net present value is negative how much sir we have got minus 6604 this is a negative value so when we are doing the problem what we are supposed to do is so the decision rule says whichever is positive that has to be selected for investment purpose in this particular certainty equivalent approach project x is positive so that is why this particular organization has to consider project x for investment purpose and they are not supposed to consider case 2 that is project y because it has a negative value thank you we will meet you in next class